one of those restaurants with the good uh, tacos? Yes. Do you have fried grasshoppers? Did you say something to me? Do you <clears throat> do you have fried grasshoppers like a, an appetizer? I can hear you. Oh, okay. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Parker. And, oh, crap. Turn it. Parker. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. Cool. Why are you in a bathrobe? So Andrew has no idea what we're doing. Jeremy found a place in Koreatown that had, serves food, um, and we're gonna eat it. We're gonna do a little experiment. I have one rule in my contract that said no food. I'm really afraid it's that like thousand year old egg. Ooh. Stuff that they like ferment in the ground. One year versus thousand year egg. Yeah, um, I take the one year egg every, mm -hmm. every time. I'm not. I'm not pleased. I'm not thrilled. I don't want to do this. I'm a hostage. I require help. Today is March 2017. Barack Obama is no longer president. Help! 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 Andrew, stop! Stop resisting! Stop! You're probably wondering what those are. There's so many legs. They look good and delicious. Well, they're called chapulines. They're a kind of grasshopper that they eat in Mexico, a region especially known for chapulines dishes is Mexico. So we found a Oaxacan restaurant in the heart of Los Angeles, and oh, we're ready to dig into a pile of chapelons. Andrew! Eating a grasshopper is like before you even jump off the cliff, you have to make eye contact with these like brown fried sticky grasshoppers and they're like Before looking back you at you. Before you jump off the airplane dock, you have to fly with your jet pack of crickets. No, no, no. It's like jump it's like going cliff jumping where like before you jump, you have to you have to like you have to stare down the leap. Before you put the grasshopper in your mouth, you have to stare him down. You have to assert dominance. Why couldn't you say, just say he was awful looking at them in the eyes? Why did it have to be this giant metaphor? Because I'm a poet and I can't help it. The exoskeleton just like... Thank you. I think the worst part is like knowing exactly what you're eating. It just like just fell off, oh gosh. And then also uh, like the very, really bitter taste and it crunches. it crunches. The worst part is you it can crunches. like audibly hear it crunch. You can audibly hear other people crunching. Yeah. It's no. like eating really loud tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. And then like the insect legs will get like stuck in your gums a little bit like too. Like popcorn kernels that won't go away. Awful. Yeah, that's awful. I think I'll stick with my Domino's and Chick-fil-A, but um, it's good to know that other cultures exist so I can avoid them. Parker, gun to your head, <gasps> you're gonna die. Please, I have a family. Gun to your head, would you eat more grasshoppers? Chapulines. wrong with you man you would need more grasshoppers to save your life no a life eating grasshoppers is a life not worth living say something to my friend he's he's passed he, oh. he's gone he's got a pax for the weekend oh i'm good you're, you're good i would have felt bad i would have felt bad if he died 